the COP21 here in Paris, France. Ahead of the talks, more than 180 nations pledged to voluntarily reduce greenhouse gas emissions. But many climate justice groups say far more needs to be done to keep global warming in check. We're joined now by one of the world's leading climate scientists who's come to the Paris talks with a shocking message. The climate crisis is more severe than even many scientists have acknowledged. Kevin Anderson is deputy director of the Tyndall Center for Climate Change Research and professor of energy and climate change at the University of Manchester in Britain. He said many scientists are self-censoring their own work to downplay the severity of the climate crisis. Dr. Anderson recently wrote, quote, Yet so far, we simply have not been prepared to accept the revolutionary implications of our own findings. And even when do we are reluctant to voice such thoughts openly, many are ultimately choosing to censor their own research. Kevin Anderson, welcome back to Democracy Now! It's great to have you with us. It's nice to be here. You came in from Britain? Yes, I did. How did yes. you get here? Uh, by train. I always travel by train or ship. I remember when we were in Copenhagen, you refused to fly. Yeah, I haven't flown for 11 years. Yeah. Why? Uh, because I think it's really important that, that those of us who think climate change is, a, is, a, is an essential, pivotal issue for modern society demonstrate that we can lead good lives, we can carry out our jobs without having very high carbon footprints. So whilst the emissions from my particular activities aren't quite so important, I'm just one person, the sort of symbolic message that it, that it, that it sends is actually very important. And it's already sort of engendered a different attitude amongst some other academic colleagues who, who now also take the similar approach. They try to avoid flying wherever they reasonably can. And sometimes that can make things quite difficult, but we have to, we have to make those efforts. That, that sort of effort. So why are you here? I'm here because there's a, I think, a very important scientific message still to be made um, and to be to be relayed to not just the policymakers and the people here, but also to wider society, to the civil society groups, to the NGOs, but even, of course, for us to discuss amongst the scientists that are here as well. And what is that message? The message is that the, the voluntary submissions that, has, that have been put forward by all of the countries, when you add all of these up, they are far, far above the level of what we call dangerous climate change that all of our leaders have committed to, to avoid, uh, avoid going above this 2 degrees C rise, think about 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, but actually, when you add up all of the commitments that the, that the countries are making in terms of their reductions in emissions, then actually it's far, far above that, near a 3 or 4 degrees C temperature rise, which is a huge increase. That's a global average. Remember Remember, that is a global average, and most of the globe is covered in water. So on land, that's an average of, 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 if we carry on like we're going now, four or five, possibly even as high as six degrees C temperature rise. So what does that look like on the ground? If we saw those sorts of changes, we'd see dramatic reductions in the staple food crops. So that's a really big issue. You know, big 40% or so reductions in rice, maize, wheat, sorghum, those sorts of crops. Huge changes in sea level rise by the end of the century, but also locking in very large sea level, sea level rise changes going forward beyond that. Um, we'd see increase in droughts. Um, and in flooding, increase in severity of typhoons in the southern hemisphere. So really, a lot of the you know, we have all learned to live with the weather that we've had, and actually, what we've been seeing are, are significant increases in the extremes um, around the planet. So we'd all suffer very significantly from a four degrees C temperature rise.